My name is Virginia Sperry, and I've been an artist for almost 30 years. I have worked in many different medium, including polymer clay and yarn or other types of fibers and steel. I am also a photographer, although that is more recent. The title of my exhibition is Storytelling, which seemed an appropriate title to uh, put into a library. There are actually two parts to this exhibition. One is the photography and the other is three-dimensional work. And uh, one day I was sitting in the library looking at this very, very long wall trying to figure out what I was going to create for it and making some sketches. And as I was sketching, I became aware that the uh, drawings that I was making looked an awful lot like a sculpture I had previously made but failed at. This actually made me kind of happy because it meant I had a chance to go back and redo this sculpture in a different way. Um, and as I was creating the sculpture, I realized it started looking like a slug. And so uh, I figured, well, it's going to be a slug. I better give it antenna. With the storytelling photos, I started in the welding studio and I found... Uh, some really cool things that uh, I made into chairs. And then I started playing with how the chairs could be arranged. And I was intrigued by how I could create an actual um, vignette or story from the chairs. After I did that, I brought them upstairs to where the photography studio is and placed them, and then started playing with the, uh, with the yarn. Could I create figures out of the yarn? What, what would the yarn do if they were placed in the chairs? And at first it was very, very, very abstract. And then all of a sudden the figures started showing up. And I played more with it to see if I could get the yarn to give off an idea of, of feeling um, that you could tell what kind of person was sitting there just from the way the yarn was sitting. And then I spent time with the camera, and this was where the experimentation came with the camera, with my macro lens and the lighting, and determined how I wanted the chairs to be, where the lighting was, and what the story was. And then once I took the photo, I put it into the computer and worked on it there um, to enhance what I was seeing in the studio. I really enjoy being able to use both the fiber and the polymer clay to create a feeling or a mood or a gesture um, that uh, you can read even though you know that it's yarn, it's not really a person. And that is, that is super exciting to me.